the PSP phone didn't quite make it into production despite that almost daily speculation. Along comes the Sony Ericsson I know we all get a bit excited, but it turns out a PSP phone just wasn't meant to be. So a PSP phone, this certainly isn't, but Sony Ericsson's I know comes with the ability to stream multimedia content directly from your PS3 to the handset. So it's probably about as close as you're going to get to a PSP phone for now. Now, the Sony Ericsson I know does offer the best of both worlds. We've got a three inch touchscreen as well as a slide out keyboard, sporting a design very similar to Sony Ericsson handsets we've seen in the past. However, this combo does come at a price. The iNo's touchscreen capabilities are only active when in multimedia mode, which is activated when the phone is closed, and it's landscape only, which could potentially annoy the hell out of you. A simple upward swipe on the arrow will open it up, revealing access to the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash or VGA video at 25 frames per second, pictures, music, video and FM radio. They even do a little dance when you run your finger along them. And getting back to the previous menu just means a simple tap on the top of the screen. And as soon as the keyboard slides out, it triggers the home page where there will, of course, be no touchscreen action. Now, it's not immediately obvious that this is the setup, so it might surprise a few who have bought the iNo with no background information. The touchscreen lets it down a bit by proving unresponsive from time to time, resulting in multiple taps to get it to do what you want, but generally it won't give you a hard time and you'll be able to navigate your way around the multimedia menu relatively hassle-free. Now what's special about Sony Ericsson's iNo is how you get all that content onto your handset and that's where this comes in as well as this. Now you get a dock bundled in with the iNo 2. Now this is for charging, viewing movies and syncing content. When docked, the iNo automatically pairs up with your PC and aggregates all the content from your computer into Sony Ericsson's MediaGo application. Once set up, which is easy enough, you use MediaGo to manage all your multimedia content and transfer to your phone via Wi-Fi as well as subscribe to podcasts. Now Media Home is the iNo application that actually pulls all the content from your PC over Wi-Fi. Equally, you can import content from your iNo onto your PC. You can even create a SenseMe playlist which is created based on the mood and tempo of the songs in your library. It doesn't just play nice with your PC, it also works with your PS3, making it the first mobile to be able to access and control your PS3 using remote play as seen on the PSP. Now setting up remote play can feel like a bit of a chore, especially as some PS3s will need a system upgrade first, but the process itself involves registering the phone on the console, then entering a code on your phone. You then need to enter your PlayStation Network login details and Bob's your uncle, you're in. And once this is done, thankfully, you won't have to do this again. Now it's worth noting that signing in over a Wi-Fi network can be a bit temperamental, so patience might be required. As many PSP owners probably know, Remote Play allows you to control and access all the multimedia on your PS3's hard drive over Wi-Fi or 3G. You can also use the handset to browse and buy games from the PlayStation Store that will be waiting for you on your console when you get home. And if you have a Play TV add-on with your PS3, you can use the phone to watch, record and pause live TV anywhere that has a Wi-Fi or 3G connection. The audio is pretty ear-pleasing with the bundled MH100 Bluetooth headset which also connects to the dock for charging. Now the headphones come as a bit of a godsend because in true Sony Ericsson style there's no 3.5mm jack. Now unlike the recent barrage of smartphones we've been seeing, there's not a load of applications to sink your teeth into but there is a quick link to Facebook for direct access to everyone's favourite social networking site. Or is that Twitter? I'm not quite sure on that one yet. Unlike the Satio, the iNo doesn't sport the Symbian operating system, instead it uses Sony Ericsson's standard user interface, so it's not going to be as feature heavy or as fun. Now, underneath the hood you'll find all the usual suspects, so HSDPA, Wi-Fi, AGPS and Bluetooth. You'll also find an 8GB micro SD card in the box, which is great because it more than makes up for the measly 55GB of storage which you'll find in its insides. It's a solid phone with robust slider action, we'll give it that. Now its design doesn't really possess the wow factor, but we think its features and capabilities more than make up for it. Now you don't need to be a PS3 owner to get the iNo, as it's a pretty good multimedia handset in its own right. The PS3 capabilities aren't its main selling point, they merely add to it. And it's available now in either black or white. And there you go, the Sony Ericsson iNo.